Hey everybody, welcome back to another one of Mudflap's movie reviews. My name is Mudflap and today I will be reviewing the first Lord of the Rings movie, The Fellowship of the Ring. Let's get started. Fellowship of the Ring is directed by Peter Jackson and it stars Elijah Wood, Sean Astin, Orlando Bloom, John Rice davies Sir Ian McKellen, and Viggo Mortensen. So this movie follows the story of a young hobbit named Frodo Baggins who is the nephew of Bilbo Baggins who is one of the owners of the Ring of Power which we learn uh, in the beginning of this movie that the Ring of Power is a specific ring that was made to rule all the other rings that were created but the Ring of Power specifically was made to rule all the other rings and it's a ring of extreme temptation and power and evil and Frodo has been burdened with returning the ring back to where it was created, Mount Doom, in the city of Mordor, uh, which is a very perilous journey for him, a dwarf, and so throughout this movie we see Frodo as he learns all about what the weight of the ring that he carries and the weight of the world and why he needs to face his fears and find courage and friendship. Uh, lots of adventure, lots of peril, some comedy, but most of it is pretty serious. It's a pretty serious movie, but um, also some very, very beautiful landscapes that we get to see throughout this movie. So overall, this movie is an absolutely amazing movie. I dare say it's a masterpiece. All of the Lord of the Rings movies are just incredibly well made, very well crafted. Peter Jackson has always just been that kind of director that I've always admired when it comes to telling a story and how he uses the characters and the inspirations uh, from the J.R.R. Tolkien books and he brings that to life uh, and we get to see that through just the beautiful landscapes. Most of Lord of the Rings was shot in New Zealand if you are not aware of that fact. It's really, really cool to see it's all the beautiful landscapes that are brought into it, but the beautiful set designs, just how amazing the characters are, the great casting going into the characters. Ian McKellen is definitely the perfect casting when it comes to Gandalf, exactly the perfect guy. Um, he just really embodies it and he just delivers it, uh, but all the casting is just spot on. Uh, so that was really, really something I really love about this movie but also just Peter Jackson's vision but also his directing style. Uh, he has a directing style of he likes to shoot one scene but he uses a whole bunch of angles just for one scene and I think that's that tells a lot about a you know a lot about a director's character and just their own unique way of doing things. A great start to the best trilogy that has ever been made and that will ever be made in my opinion. And these movies are 20 years old and I'm I've so just blown away by there was CGI used in this movie no doubt but a lot of it was not. Lots of humans and lots of horses, tons and tons and tons of people that were brought in to make the battle scenes ex just spectacular. Uh, that's mainly what Lord of the Rings is known for is just amazing battle scenes and how long the battles last, but also all the extras that they had to bring in, all the horses, the manpower behind getting all these animals and people to the right place for filming, um, just absolutely incredible. A couple of my favorite moments were right in the beginning where just Frodo really embraces the journey that he's on and he's just surrounded by his really good friend Sam uh, who has just been you know, is definitely a true, true symbol of friendship that we could all use. Uh, and also, all the other people that are on the journey with him that encourage him. Just seeing someone embrace their destiny like that is always a beautiful moment. But then of course, seeing Gandalf facing the Balrog at the cave uh, at the near the end of the movie is always a classic scene, especially when he says, you shall not pass. Uh, that just, for me, brings back a lot of memories when I first saw Lord of the Rings and just how powerful Gandalf is and how cool the Balrog is. Uh, very, very, very cool scene. So, as many of you probably know, these movies were taken from the books written by J.R.R. Tolkien. Maybe some of you don't know, but J.R.R. Tolkien was a Christian theologian. A lot of his work that he wrote had a lot of symbolism involved in it. And Lord of the Rings has a lot of Christian symbolism. Uh, weaved into it. As a Christian myself, I just can't help, you know, looking for 
symbolism here and there. Um, it just makes the movie experience ten times better when it's something you truly believe in and you want to look for and see you know, are these specific moments or characters, you know, what do they symbolize? And according to J.R.R. Tolkien, uh, there are three characters in the Lord of the Rings movies that symbolize Jesus. Sam, Gandalf, and Aragorn are the three characters that symbolize Jesus the best. Each one of these characters emphasizes a very specific characteristic of Jesus. Sam is the faithful servant, uh, the one who never gives up on you. Aragorn is the one true king who accepts his destiny and is not afraid of death. And then you have Gandalf who he died and he was resurrected as Gandalf the White. And then there's a lot of moments that, uh, if you're paying attention, are very parallel to uh, the fall of man, uh, the final battle, Armageddon, and then the ring symbolizes temptation and sin, and then Sauron is Satan. So, um, you know, if you, next time you watch Lord of the Rings, I would pay attention to, like, the symbolism because it really makes it that much more entertaining and you just can really immerse yourself in just the magical beauty of of these movies. So for Fellowship of the Ring, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 mud flaps. And before you go, drop in the comments below who is your favorite character from The Lord of the Rings. And as always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and I'll see you next time.